Hey everyone, today is day 61. It was about intro to authentication. This will be week 13, all about authentication. And we talked about different ways to protect our data in our databases so that hackers don't steal the passwords from our users. We talked about bcrypt.js, which is an NPM library that we can use to generate these hashes. Basically what hashes are is um, they convert plain text strings, so like someone's password, into a very long string of uh, uh, incoherent characters so that people can't hack it. And uh, we talked about different ways um, that hackers can attack using brute force or dictionary attacks. We talked about rainbow tables. And it was a very interesting topic overall today. And um, I'm going to try to keep it brief here. We're going to go more in tomorrow about sessions and cookies. Today is day 62 and we covered cookies and sessions. Basically what cookies are is a way for the server and the client to communicate with each other to verify their identities. And uh, the general workflow is that after you log in and everything, um, the server gives you a cookie and then with every request that you make to the server, you would send that cookie just so you can verify your identity. And the pack, one of the packages that we used was called Express Sessions in our code today. And um, it's just another way to uh, utilize this cookie, these cookie methods. Um, and the way, there's different ways to store s session data. So there's memory, which is just basically on your computer. Uh, it gets wiped if the server restarts or something. A better way is memory cache, something like Redis or Memcache is a popular um, server. It's just a separate server that manages all the um, different cookies and everything. And then there's a database, which uh, is a little bit slower than Memcache, but it works um, equally as well. I think the most popular one is Memory Cache. And uh, so today's project reflected that we utilize um, sessions and cookies. We stored the user's um, name, and then we send, we give the, the user back a cookie. And then they use that on every um, request, like a, a get user request or something like that. So uh, it was a solid day today. It wasn't too difficult. Um, if you have any questions or are curious about anything, uh, feel free to ask me. Um, I have repos. I have uh, notes. I have a lot of things to share with you if you'd like. And I uh, hope you enjoy the video. Thanks. Hi, guys. Today is day 63, and we covered JSON Web Tokens. It's another way to access uh, data securely and jot for short is uh, very popular right now it has everything included to um, communicate between client and server and it also i think it's good for cross origin uh, cross uh, site origins and stuff like that too so we learned a little bit about it today um, just about the components of it and how to implement it in our code. There's the header, the payload, and the signature, and the type of uh, algorithm used is pretty secure. It's called HMAC, um, and uh, it generates like a three-part hash, if you want to call it that, and then um, it's pretty good to use in your code. It's pretty simple from what I saw to implement as well. So that was just basically using that on top of the project that we built yesterday. And um, I gotta say, uh, it's pretty good so far. And my instructor said you can either use JSON web tokens or sessions and cookies. It just ultimately depends on the situation. So um, I'll, I'm just gonna learn it now and use it in the future when it comes up. But that's it for today. Hey everyone, today's day 64 and we learned about working on the client side to implement the authentication. So we did a lot of backend earlier this week just setting up the authentication with like JSON web tokens or sessions and cookies. And then today we actually implemented the client side, the front side of things to make the forms and how to properly uh, make the requests with the correct headers so that people can use the JSON web tokens to log in essentially. And then we also learned about .env to store um, things that are secret so that they don't get uploaded to GitHub. And overall, um, the project today was uh, pretty s much straight from the lecture, so it wasn't too bad. And then tomorrow will be the sprint challenge, which shouldn't be 
um, too difficult either. So I had a good day overall, and um, see you guys tomorrow. Hey everyone, today's day 65, and it's the end of Sprint Challenge Day. We worked on a project today dealing with uh, getting jokes from an API. Of course, the MVP was to set up a register and a login route and then also a get route so that users can get jokes from the API. Now we also have to implement JSON web tokens which is what we learned uh, earlier in the week. Uh, we did not use sessions and cookies on this project but it was also something that we learned this past week. And so setting up the uh, register uh, and the, the um, register and login route you have to give the user a token and then they use that token to log back into the server to get the jokes. And then as a stretch challenge, we also developed a front end where users can fill out a login uh, form and then also a register form. And then last but not least, we implemented a logout feature just to destroy the, the JSON web token or JOT for short. And uh, overall, the project was not too difficult. Uh, there was a lot of getting used to uh, the setup of the project because there was a, a certain file or tree structure that you had to get used to in order to um, implement your code. So all in all it was a good week. I really enjoyed, enjoyed authentication. I thought it would be a lot more difficult but to be honest uh, last week was more difficult for me for some reason. Um, this authentication stuff actually makes more sense and of course there's going to be more things as well. Um, there's going to be like extra libraries that we haven't heard about the different methods uh, oauth uh, passport js and uh, different ways to actually use all these authentication methods so i'm looking forward to learning about those in the future on my own because it's not covered in lecture and then next week will be week 14 where we cover testing so that will will be the end of front end and back end and then we will jump into computer science so a little bit scary but we'll see what happens have a good weekend and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you.